we've got a question here where we've been asked to calculate the dba the question goes like this cash price of a good is rupees 24000 the total higher purchase price is rupees 30000 the agreed number of installments is 30 after paying 12 installments the purchaser would like to pay the Uh, amount in lump sum calculate the total amount payable so here what has happened is the part purchaser and the vendor they've gone into an agreement uh, the cash price was 24000 however because of cash purchase price it worked out to be 30000 so the agreed number of part payments was 30 after making 12 part payments the purchaser decided to cancel the agreement he decided to come out of it and then we we have to calculate how much is the settlement amount so let's just quickly go about with the calculations of this now over here we have been given the cash price okay. now cash price of the cash price of the good is rupees the cash price of the good is rupees 24000 okay. and higher purchase price is rupees 30000 Higher purchase price is rupees thirty thousand. So, uh, cash price is rupees twenty four thousand. Higher purchase price is rupees thirty thousand. So, which means higher charges. Okay. Now, how do you calculate higher charges? Higher charges would be higher purchase price minus cash price. Okay. Higher purchase price minus cash price. That would be. So thirty thousand minus rupees twenty four thousand. So higher charges is rupees is rupees six thousand. Okay, higher charges is rupees six thousand. Now next thing is we have to calculate amount per part. Okay, how much is the amount per part? How much? Uh, remember, we are making the uh, the payment and higher purchase and part payments, and we know that there are thirty part payments that we have to make. So how do we how do we work this up? How how do we calculate this? That is very simple. Higher purchase price divided by number of part payments. Okay. So this would be rupees thirty thousand divided by thirty. So, which means amount per part. This will be rupees one thousand. The amount per part. This would be rupees one thousand. Now, moving further, let's go about with the cash. After paying twelve part payments, the purchaser would like to pay the amount in lump sum. So, after making twelve part payments, the purchaser would like to cancel the agreement. He would like to come out of it. So, we have to calculate the settled amount amount basically. So, we know that. Settlement amount. The formula is amount. It is amount outstanding minus rebate. Okay. So it is amount outstanding minus rebate. So which means we will have to calculate the rebate amount. So let's just quickly calculate the rebate amount. We know that rebate amount is uh, the uh, the rebate amount. A uh, formula is two divided by three into how much is higher charges? Higher charges here is rupees six thousand. So rupees six thousand into number of installments due. How many more installments do you have to pay? So remember, you're cancelling the agreement after paying twelve installments. So the number of installments due are is eighteen. Okay, the number of installments due is eighteen. This the divided by total number of installments. Okay, so this divided by total number of installments. How many number of installments do you have? The number of installments that you have is thirty. Okay, so let's quickly calculate this. Let's quickly work this out. Let's let's calculate what are the values. So two divided by three into uh, let's just quickly work this out. So let's work this out. Uh, two 
into 6,000 into 18 divided by 3 divided by 30. So you get the rebate amount to be rupees 24,000. So you will get the rebate amount to be rupees 24,000. So we have calculated the rebate amount. Now let's calculate the settlement amount. Settlement amount is amount outstanding. So how do you calculate amount outstanding? Amount outstanding would be 18 parts are pending. Amount per part is rupees 1000. So this 18 into 1000, okay, 18 into rupees 1000 minus rupees 2400. So this this. So this would be 18,000 minus 2000. 2400 and when you work this out this will be 15600 so if the purchaser would like to settle this transaction and come out of it to the vendor he will have to pay an amount of rupees 15600 of this the rebate amount is 2400 so with that we have completed the computation of rebate for this particular 